All right, welcome back to this kid's opinion, and I just released my official bracket for March Madness, and I figured let's have some fun and make some other brackets. And starting off, we're gonna have the analytics bracket for this video, but I'm also gonna do an upsets bracket, an offensive and defensive bracket, uh, basically tailored towards the uh, best offensive and defensive teams in the tournament. Uh, so I think we should get some pretty fun matchups here because my main bracket was pretty chalky. I had a few upsets like New Mexico, High Point over Purdue. I had a few in there, but it was mainly pretty chalky. So let's have some fun with these brackets. And starting off the analytics bracket, I have this secret uh, Krabby Patty formula on how I'm going to pick these teams. Uh, we're going to go Auburn, obviously, in this matchup. And then Louisville or Creighton, according to my stats, okay, the, the secret formula stats. Uh, the stats like Louisville, so let's pick them in this matchup. And then Michigan versus UC San Diego. I actually want Michigan this one, avoiding this 12v5 upset, even though this is a very close game. And the stats really like UC San Diego, which I like because I picked Michigan in my bracket, so that works. And Yale over Texas A&M. I actually like this as well because I picked um, uh, Texas A&M over Yale. I just think they're going to be able to play some bully ball and be tougher than Yale. Ole Miss, uh, we don't know who's going to play them yet. I, I think they beat North Carolina or San Diego State anyways. Uh, and then Iowa State Lipscomb, do we have an upset here? We do not Lipscomb. It's just a really bad defensive team. Pretty good offensive team, but Iowa State has good balance. And then Marquette and New Mexico, they like New Mexico as well. I like this team as well. And then Michigan State, or Bryant. Bryant does not have that bad of stats, so uh, good to see there for Bryant. Uh, we'll definitely see them in the uh, defensive video, so uh, stay tuned for that video. Uh, but Michigan State's going to take this one and finishing out this region. Second round, Auburn, Louisville. Unfortunately, Louisville's going to go down to Auburn. And UC San Diego, Texas A&M. Curious about this one. The stats love UC San Diego, so UC San Diego uh, continuing their Cinderella run into the Sweet 16. Hopefully, they'll be able to take down Auburn. That'd be pretty cool. And Ole Miss Iowa State, uh, unanimous Iowa State right there, not even close. And New Mexico, Michigan State, this could be fun. Uh, actually, the stats really like Michigan State, and I do too because I had them in my final four. Uh, really high on this team. I think they're really deep. And Auburn, UC, UC San Diego, unfortunately, this is where the run ends. They're going to run into the Auburn Tigers, who are really uh, loved by the stats. And Iowa State versus Michigan, Michigan State. So, um, same uh, elite eight for this region uh as my bracket and who's gonna go to final four michigan state just like mine so uh, we had a few upsets in here especially uc san diego making a deep run but pretty much the same as my bracket so we'll see if these regions are any different i don't expect to see florida losing in this one yeah yeah norfolk state has a pretty good team though uh yukon oklahoma stats like yukon the uh, two-time defending national champions and no 12v5 upset here memphis colorado state I really like this Memphis team. They have so many guards and decent bigs like Dane Danger. And Grand Canyon is not going to be able to pull off this 13-4 uh, against Maryland. Do we have Drake beating Missouri here? No, it's going to be Missouri still winning this matchup. And Texas, UNC, Wilmington. And we're going to have a big upset here. 14 over 3, UNC, Wilmington. Uh, this team is a really good offensive team. Uh, they also have a lot of bench points. Um... So UNC Wilmington is going to take against Texas Tech. And then we got Kansas versus Arkansas. Uh, Kansas is favored here. I uh, favor them in this match as well for my bracket. And unanimous St. John's over Omaha. However, we will see this Omaha team in the offensive team video. So look out. And then finishing this region, UConn versus Florida. Florida has ridiculous stats. And Maryland also is going to advance, beating Memphis. And will Missouri move on? No. The run for UNC Wilmington continues. And they're going to take on either Kansas or St. John's. It will be St. John's. And will they be able to beat the Johnnies? Unfortunately not. This is where the run ends. Same spot as uh, UC San Diego. And then is Maryland good enough? Nope. Florida, St. John's, same as my bracket. And Florida's going to move on. So, so far in the Final Four, Michigan State and Florida. And for the other side of the bracket, starting off east, we got Duke. And then Mississippi State or Baylor. This is a very close uh, 8v9 matchup. And in this case, the stats really like Mississippi State. And we got Oregon versus Liberty. And we got the upset. Liberty, uh, they have really good uh, shooting and a pretty good uh, defense as well on the perimeter. They're gonna, going to lock up the guards uh, according to this bracket. Uh, the mini guards of Oregon, they have really good uh, shooting guards. 
And Arizona Akron. Arizona is going to be Akron. Avoid that upset right there. And VCU is going to upset BYU. I also have this as one of my few um, upsets in my bracket. And Wisconsin versus Montana. Wisconsin, I really like this team. Have them go deep in my bracket. And St. Mary's Vanderbilt. Uh, stats like St. Mary's, a really good rebounding and defensive team. And Alabama, also a really solid team. They're not going to lose Robert Morris. And Duke, I'm um, just going to assume it's going to be them. Let's just make sure. Yep, Duke. Uh, they have a really good score for these stats as well. Uh, I included bench points, overall rebounds per game, assist turnover ratio. Uh, some of these I had lower than the others, as you'll see, like three point, uh, fast break, not have heavily as much as free throws, opponents, uh, points per game. Uh, you pretty much get the gist. It's just my favorite stats offensive rebounds and def defensive efficiency. Um, yeah. That's what I used to make these stats. Uh, Duke has a really high score for these. And Arizona is going to move on and beat Liberty. And we got VCU versus Wisconsin. And VCU, we got another Cinderella uh, run going right now for the 11th seed. And then St. Mary's is going to beat... Oh, actually, almost had a miss up there. Yeah, St. Mary's is going to beat Alabama. And then we got Duke versus Arizona. Uh, really good game right there. I hope we were able to see that matchup. Very competitive game right there, I would imagine. And VCU is going to advance to the Elite Eight. Are they good enough to beat Duke? They are not. However, they uh, made it to the Elite Eight, just like UC San Diego was able to. So Duke in the Final Four. And then moving on to our last region is the Midwest region. We got Houston, SIU, Edwardsville. Uh, this should be a pretty good uh, win for Houston pretty easily. Hopefully, we've had a, we've had a few one seeds go down the past couple years, and Gonzaga has really good stats against Georgia, and Clemson McNeese. Will we have a 25 upset here? We will. We're gonna have McNeese move on against uh, Clemson and Purdue High Point. I'm gonna imagine High Point. Yeah, uh, this is a team that I picked to beat Purdue in my bracket. Illinois is gonna take on either Texas or Xavier, so let's go with Illinois for now. Subject to change uh, depending on who gets in. Kentucky versus Troy, and wow. Kentucky narrowly gets past Troy by point one right there. And then UC, UCLA versus Utah State. The stats like Utah State. They have a good balance of offense and defense, so I definitely see why there. And Tennessee over Wofford. This is a team that I really want to see upset Tennessee. I think they could do it. They have really good uh, shooting, and that's definitely a big weakness for Tennessee, The uh, them guarding the three-point line. So... Look out for this in the upsets uh, bracket, uh, but we're going to go with Tennessee in this one. And then Houston versus Gonzaga. The Zags are going to upset Houston, so we have a 1C going down, the second one in this video. And McNeese versus High Point. High Point narrowly. I think they are a better team than McNeese. I think this McNeese team is worse than last year's team, and they couldn't even get past the first round. So I definitely wouldn't have McNeese as a uh, big Cinderella run. I think High Point has a way higher ceiling. And then Illinois versus Kentucky. I'm going to guess Kentucky. Yep, narrowly. Utah State, Tennessee. And we have an upset here. T 10 seed over 2. Utah State over Tennessee. Interesting stuff right there. And then Gonzaga, high point. The Zags are going to move on. And Kentucky versus Utah State. Good game right here. And we have another Cinderella team. Utah State's going to move on. And are they good enough to take down the number 8 seed Zags? They are not. The Zags are going to the Final Four. And here is our final four for this bracket, this uh, TKO analytics bracket. Michigan State, Florida, uh, Duke versus Gonzaga. Pretty good uh, dis distribution on the seats here. And Florida is going to advance to the championship game. And Gonzaga is going to move on. Florida versus, versus Gonzaga. Who's going to take the championship? The Gonzaga Bulldogs will. And let's officially crown them as the champions for this bracket. I'm going to say that they're going to win. This is going to be a really high scoring game. Let's go with uh, 84 to 79. So that's going to do it for this TKO analytics bracket. Use this if you want to, um, if you're like struggling with like these eight, nine matchups, uh, you, these stats can help you pick them. Although I picked Baylor for mine just because I think they have more um, um, characteristics that don't jump off the stat sheets like experience and all that so i, I rock with baylor there i picked a little over creighton but like matchups like these especially michigan uc san diego like uh, you can use these stats to help you um pick a winner for these matchups because 
uh, this is a very competitive year. I think they, they did a good job making the brackets, the committee, except for leaving off West Virginia, putting UNC in there, making Louisville a freaking 8 seed. Meanwhile, where's Clemson? Clemson is a 5 seed. That makes no sense. Um, but overall, I think they did a decent job with this bracket. Very competitive. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this video helps you uh, decide who you're going to pick for these tough matchups. So that's going to do it for me. Make sure to like, subscribe. I have a quite a few March, March Madness videos. I have a top five teams to trust, top five teams not to trust, uh, top five Cinderella teams, and I have my official bracket. And then I'm going to have these other bracket videos. Like I said, uh, this stats one, uh, upsets bracket, offense, defense bracket. So got a lot coming uh, for you guys for March Madness 2025. So make sure to like, subscribe. But hey, I'm just a kid, and this is my opinion.